everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are in testing spot number two, which is my bathroom. Um, I have better lighting up there than I do in my bedroom. I like kind of like a cooler, well, darker light in my bedroom. So I'm going to see if this is any better. I don't know how it's going to sound on camera. I don't know how it's going to look on camera. We'll just take it one step at a time. You guys will tell me whether or not it'll be fine, I'm sure. Uh, but, you know, thanks for sticking with me through my transition in life. <laughs> it's been a roller coaster. And I was just thinking earlier today, like, had I known my life would have had as many curves at his, that it has had since the beginning of last year, I should have named my channel, like, hot mess, just like all the other uh, people out there who are just living their life one big hot mess, <laughs> because that is definitely me. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay for things to not go your way, and it's okay to hit bumps in the road, even if it feels like it's one bump right after the other. Um, eventually, life will start to mold and get better, so you just kind of really, really tough it out. Um, yeah, enough of that. Enough, enough, enough of that. Why am I here? I'm here for our icon box this month, which I am so freaking excited for. Yay! Ipsy sent me the icon box, and uh, I cannot wait to see what is in this bad boy. Now, if you are here, oh, almost dropped everything. If you are here to find out who the winner is, or excuse me, the winners of the giveaway, um, I have listed them down below, so congratulations to those winners. Um, if for some reason they do not get back to me, uh, I will pick a new winner and I will let you guys know all that, but uh, usually I do not have that problem. So, with that being said, the theme for this icon box this month, uh, they teamed up with Patrick Star. So, uh, it should be interesting to see what kind of products are in here. All right, so one of the first items I see, very nice, is the Fenty Skin Buff Rider Exfoliating Body Scrub. Um, I actually really enjoy Fenty Beauty. They have really good products. Um, I would say there was only been a miss like here and there. Other than that, the brand is really solid. So I'm actually super excited to try this. And uh, let's see what this thing smells like. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that smells divine. Oh, that smells better than the body scrub I have now. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Buff this rough brings the smooth made Oh, buffs the rough, brings the smooth, made with sugar, salt, and sand to exfoliate while fruit enzymes help soften. This is going straight into my shower. Like, after this video, I'm hopping in and I am going to use that. All right, the next item is from Professional. This is the Speedy Smooth Quick Smoothing Pore Mask. This is actually right up my alley. Um, I have a lot of pores in my nose and like in my T-zone. Uh, so this is going to be perfect. I don't actually think I've tried this one before. So that's kind of cool. Big old tube. <laughs> uh, this is going to last me a long time. It's supposed to smooth skin instantly and over time. Uh, pores look instantly refined. Celery and flaxseed extract helps visibly improve skin texture. And, uh, yeah. I enjoy Benefit products. I don't think I've had a miss with them either. So, that's awesome. The next item uh, is from a brand I love. Like, la la love. <laughs> uh, this is the Bounce Boosting Serum. Uh, with collagen and peptides, and it's safe for sensitive skin. I love them because I think everything that I've tried so far from them is geared towards sensitive skin, so it, you can really use it on anybody. Um, and the fact that it has the collagen and the peptides, this is going to go right into my routine as soon as possible because I'm actually almost done with what I have now. 
and I wanted to try something new. This is literally, oh, I love that it has a pump too. That's awesome. All right, this is perfect. This is perfect for me. It targets exactly what I need. I'm so freaking happy. Okay, good products. The next item, I spoke too soon. <laughs> okay, so this is not for me in any way, shape, or form. Uh, this is the Vacation Baby Oil, S or SPF Baby Oil. I would not use this. This is just not a product I would gear towards, think about using, sun I mean, sunscreen oil. <sighs> sunscreen already feels icky enough to me as it is when it comes to like the sprays. I finally found one that's not like too bad and it's by, um, Neutrogena, I think. Uh, I used that when I was on vacation. But baby oil sunblock or sunscreen, that is pushing it for me. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan. So I'm going to put this in a future giveaway because I'm going to be very, very honest. I would not use that. Next product is from, I don't know how to say this, you guys. It is either Kosas, Kosas. You know what I'm, look, look, look. Hello, work with me light. There we go, can you see? K-O-S-A-S. -S. Anyways, uh, this is a Grow Potion Fluffy Brow and Lash Boosting Serum. My lashes are like null and void. They are so short and I don't know if it's like they're getting lighter as I'm getting older because they look non-existent. Like, it looks like I have no lashes when I have mascara on. Speaking of mascara, I am trying a new one out um, as of right now in this video, and it's by Araceli. Um, it's not bad. I actually like the way that it made my lashes look. It is a wetter formula than what I'm used to. Um, but not terrible. Not terrible. Uh, but maybe this will uh, help me with my lashes. So I'm glad that's in there. The next item is from One Size Beauty. This is Patrick Starr's brand, so I'm actually excited that this is in here. And this is his Point Made Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen. Now, first of all, I love that it's waterproof. I'm having a lot of issues with my left eye. It is constantly, like constantly running water. Um, I <laughs> It'll just like drip water sometimes, and everyone's like, are you crying? Why are you crying? I'm like, I'm not crying. My, my eyes just like watering and I have no idea why I've taken, um, what is it? Allergy medicine to kind of like help dry up my eyeball. <laughs> uh, I've like pressed right in here, make sure nothing is like blocked and, uh, no, it's still, it is water city in my left eye. So everything I am needing right now it has to be waterproof. I'm scared to even do a look. I have a new palette that I want to play in so bad. Um, I'm just afraid that if I actually do a look that I'm, I fall in love with that my water, my eye is going to actually do what it always ends up doing that I hate is water upwards and ruins the whole look. I would be so devastated. So I haven't played in it yet. Uh, trying to figure out like what is going on. That was a lot of explanation <laughs> for an eyeliner, but let's go ahead and open this up. And this is in the shade <gasps> blue. Oh, 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 I love that it is blue. That just made my night. I actually have a concert this weekend and it's like a rock concert. So I might use this this weekend. <laughs> that is so awesome. Oh yes. And it's like a dark blue too. I don't know if you can see that or not. Look at that. Oh, I want to use that this weekend. I'm going to use this this weekend. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so glad this is in here. That makes me so happy. Okay, the next item is from Lawless. This is the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Tinted Lip Balm Stick. That is actually a big claim for me because I do have a lot of lines in my bottom lip that I don't care for. So if it's line smoothing, I would like to see if that really, really works. The plumping scares me because, you know, sometimes those plumping elements can be like really intense and tingly. Um, and then this is in the shade Sugar Plum. So it's like 
I guess a darker shade. I wonder if it comes out like off that way. No. No, just a light tint. Can you tell? Light tint. Yeah. It doesn't really have a smell to it, but I'm going to test this out because um, I like stuff like this on my lips anyway, like a lip balm, lip gloss, lip stains. Those are my jam. Uh, so I'm going to start testing that out. Now, I am wearing for my lips, in case you wanted to know, <clears throat> I decided to be a little fancy even though I don't have a full face on. Uh, I am wearing the Hourglass Lipstick and this is in the shade, no, that just says the product expiration date, where it's made, doesn't give me a name. Anyways, uh, I haven't used this but like maybe once when I got it and I was like, you know what, let me let me try it again, let me do something new, usually I just throw on a gloss and I film. Uh, but I wanted to throw this on. So first of all, I don't know why I had such a hard time. Oh, the shade name is right here. It's called If Only. Sorry. Uh, I don't know why I had such a hard time applying this. It was really frustrating. Um, it wasn't that it was not going on hard enough. It's just the way, maybe the way that it's shaped. I was having a hard time on the outer edges of my lips. Um, and it's so small and my lips, my lips aren't that small. So it took me a couple times to get the shade all over my lip. Um, would I buy this again? No. Is the color pretty? Yes. However, with that being said, um, I have told you guys before, one of my, uh, one of my things for lipsticks is it has to be able to stay on this little piece. So when I was a kid, I had a bike accident and my lip is crooked and this little piece is where I had stitches, but it like kind of comes up sometimes. And when I smile, it'll look like I have no lipstick there. So it looks like I'm missing lipstick on my mouth. And there's only some lipsticks that I can wear that will stay on that piece when I'm talking. Um, and those are obviously ones that I love, but this one does not. So that is why I would not, I would not purchase this in the future. If it's given to me, great, but it's not. It's not something like, oh, I gotta go out and buy this. <laughs> and, uh, oh, that edge of that lipstick, ooh, that's rough. That is rough. Yeah, I had a hard time putting that on. Oh, and uh, I'm sorry, this is kind of like a chit chatty unboxing. I feel like I haven't really sat down and talked to you guys in like forever, and I've, I've missed you. <laughs> I've missed this part of my life. Um, and with the transition of, you know, leaving my makeup room behind, I just, I felt lost and I don't know, the make my makeup room and being with you guys has always been like my happy place and my go-to and where I feel like I can be myself and I feel like I'm talking to my friends uh, when I talk to you guys and um, I've missed it. I haven't been filming as much and I know that. And I'm just, I'm so thankful that you guys are still with me. It really means a lot to me. Um, but all the stress definitely has gotten to me because uh, we got a lovely, ugly zit right here. We're going to name that Hilga because I don't like that name and I don't like this zit on my face. And uh, let's move on. <laughs> I got like one more product and... Uh, if I say that one more time, I'm going to scream. Okay, the next item and the last item is from One Size Beauty as well. And this is the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. I have not tried any of his blushes. The only thing I have ever tried from his brand, I think, was the powder, which it was okay. But um, in retrospect, I keep going back to the Too Faced uh, Peach Perfect powder. That's that's my go-to powder. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. Um, I don't know. I feel like I get that he wants to do like that kind of opening where you press down on one and lift up on the other, but that makes storage a little more difficult um, than just like a square palette. It's fine. I'll figure it out. But these shades are really pretty. They're definitely pink. Ooh. 
That's a cream. Hello. Okay, so we got a cream blush, a powder blush, and I guess a highlighter? Flex Cream, Versatile Cream to Underpaint and Overpaint, Full Impact Matte, Blurring Matte and Buildable Intensity, Prismatic Hyper Sheen, Eye Catching Glow, and Seamless Finish. Um, okay, well, I mean, we're going to swatch these. So, this is a cream that's actually really exciting. I haven't dealt with too many creams, but the ones that I have, um, I actually liked. Now, I know that's coming out really, really like, oh, let me see if I can turn down my light a little bit. These are the shades right here. Like I said, they are super, super pink. Oh, <laughs> I just cracked a nail. So, oh, that is pretty. Looks like a bubblegum pink. I don't know if you guys can see that. I will turn down the light again in just a moment. And then we got this one. Holy shnikes. That is a bright, bright pink. Okay, and then, yeah, this is like a, a glaze over, not really a highlighter. I mean, it's pretty though. All right, can you see? All right, so you got the cream the other one and then in here is when I did that that glaze over it's like a you can call it I guess a sheen highlighter but it's just like more like a topper I'm gonna put it on this no, didn't really do anything huh how funny interesting okay well you know it's all right. I've seen better. Okay, so really quickly, let's just go back over the products. Uh, so we got the body scrub. Freaking love this. I can't wait to use this after this video. Uh, we got the pore mask, which is right up my alley. Exactly what I want. Uh, we got the lash serum, which hopefully it works because I need more lashes or longer lashes or thicker lashes in my life. We got the blue eyeliner, which I am so excited for. I'm using it this weekend uh, for the rock concert. I am going to. Very happy with that. Uh, we got the, um, the bounce boosting serum which I cannot wait to add to my routine. That's gonna be awesome. We got the baby oil, which like I said, I'm not gonna use, it is what it is. And of course the cheek palette, it's pretty. Um, I definitely have some better blushes and uh, in my collection, but <sighs> that is so, so pink. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try and I'm gonna play with it, so. All in all, I think this is actually a really, really good box for the Icon box. Um, and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to show you guys what I got in my Boxy Charm. I can't wait to show you guys what I got in my Ipsy bag. Those videos are coming, so make sure you stay tuned. Uh, hit that subscribe button so you can come back if you are not already subscribed to my channel. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for me, please. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.